So you've taken a few minutes, you've got your mountains in now. Now what? Well, a couple of things we can do. We can continue with this brush, or we can pick up a little bit more narrow brush, which is probably a three quarter inch brush. But we're gonna go ahead and put in some foreground and some trees. And we're pretty much done with this very simple painting, okay? So this time I'm really going to pick up some more yellow into that same puddle of blue that I had before, okay? I haven't washed this brush out yet. This brush has not been washed out. And I'm going to think about where, what do I want to have happen? Well, there's trees, there's always trees that are there, probably darker, um, or more distinct in the foreground in the mountains that you can see. So I'm turning my brush on its side. See how I've pressed it down, smashed it out, letting the bristles come apart. You can put a little bit of red in here to gray, to gray this down a little bit, darken it up, purple it up a little bit, even. Because I want these, these are um, deciduous trees and fir trees that grow in our area. Our hemlocks are gone, but we've got still got some pines and things that grow here. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just stumbling it in. And that means I'm letting the bristles come apart and they're doing the work, not me. Because I'm all about letting it do its own work. Okay. This is fairly monochromatic, all in blues and greens. Make for a lovely little painting. This, there's a little road or something that comes in here, so it allows you to, your eye to come down into it. And I love using the edge of this brush. Doesn't matter how wide this brush is, I can just take it and stamp and use the edge of this brush, and it's going to do some wonderful things. Let's change the temperature just a little bit. Maybe there's a tree that um, is trying to head into fall, because we certainly are trying to head into fall in here. And I'm going to put some brown. Just enough to change the temperature a little bit, warm it up. And maybe a little, I put a little bit of yellow on the edge of my brush. Not trying to, you um, see, I just put the yellow right there on the edge. I still haven't washed my brush out. Don't want panic. I'm liking how this paper is drying a little bit, so it's allowing me to really get some great foliage shapes here. Okay. So get those in. I'll stop here. We'll start the next video when you get that finished.